Hi there, just get this out of the way. Um, it's Lowell Papworth here and I'm off to Udemy Live in a few days so I thought I'd give you a quick tip on how to add a Facebook page to your WordPress website. So I've added it to Roma's site and if you scroll down on the red right hand side you'll see there's a little box here with a like page. Now the reason why you want this one and not one of those little buttons is because the button will take people to Facebook and you'll lose them from your website. But watch this, when I click like page here, it changes to liked. So now people have liked Roma's page without leaving her website. Isn't that awesome? This is so simple to do, so easy to do. I'll show you how. I'm going to go to Roma's website. Facebook page and it's called facebook.com slash roma.waterman so I want to copy that that's her URL by the way it says that I haven't liked the page here when I refresh there it is I liked it because I liked it on the website now I'm liking it on now it's liked it on the page this will not work for groups or personal profiles you'll have to use something else but for pages this is awesome when I'm on the um, WordPress dashboard for Roma's site I go down to appearance and then to widgets and I choose um, the I like the Jetpack Facebook page plugin Jetpacks made by automatic and automatic other people who make WordPress so I, I like the official ones so I pick that up and I go wee and you can do that for five or ten minutes wee <laughs> easy peasy let's put it at the top of the website sidebar let's put it we've already got one but let's put it above here and then we'll move it around Facebook page plugin I'm going to delete it later and show you how to delete it but like me on Facebook or else and then put the URL in, which is facebook.com slash roma.waterman, and that's taken from Facebook there. Make sure there's no other gobbledygook on the end. You just want the clean, nice clean URL. The default is fine. Show stream is to show the updates on the page, but I'm going to leave that off. You can play around with that. Show the faces. That's the little smiley faces down here of the people who are fans. I like those. And the cover photo is your Facebook cover photo. And that's nice too. Click save. And now when I go to the website and refresh, what we should see at the top of the sidebar, like me on Facebook or else, and the widget is working. So that's kind of cool. But we've got two now. So I need to get rid of one of them. <laughs> How do I do that? Well, I'll choose the one you like. I'm on the primary sidebar. I'm going to choose the first one, like me on Facebook or else, and I can just click delete. But another way of doing it, let me just close that, is to pick it up and say we again, and then drag it down. And the area that you're looking for is inactive widgets, and then just drop it. And that saves the, the plugin, the widget, for another time so that you can. Maybe you'll change your mind tomorrow and want it back. That's gone. Let's go back here. Let's refresh. And then we're just back to this one here. And if I want to move this widget further down, maybe towards the bottom of the sidebar, same deal again. Just do the we. If you don't say we, it doesn't work. <laughs> Pick that up, we drag it down, and let's put it under the promotional images for the Udemy courses. Drop it there, come back, refresh. And if Roma doesn't like this, she can just delete it or move it into the other area or move it around the page as she wishes. So that's pretty easy. Now, whenever people visit your website, read your blog, or maybe are not ready to sign up for a course but want to like your Facebook page because they'd like to know more about you before they spend money, that's a quick and easy way to have them sign up for your Facebook page off Facebook. 
with these tips, these Udemy tips, I just want to point out, I'm not focusing on the Udemy things that you can do, like Udemy emails and, and inside the platform. I really want to show you things off Udemy that are cool to do that get you some kind of following and, you know, it's how I built my following. And, um, and if you're not doing it, that's fine, but just know that these things are available to you. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.